Hello there, it's your friendly librarian here with a few tips on accessing NWEA score reports. So after you've just tested your class and you've waited 24 hours for the reports to be available, uh, it's time to check out what we've got for data. So we'll log in the same way we do for proctoring the test. Uh, I just Google NWEA login and go for the UAP login, put in your school email address as the username and whatever you've chosen for your password. And that brings us to this next screen. So instead of going to manage test sessions like you would when proctoring the exam, we're going to go over here to view reports. And when you click over here on Math Growth Reports, then it's going to give you these options here. And we're going to take a look at a few of the most commonly used growth reports. The first one, which I've already highlighted in red, is the Class Breakdown Report. So click on that. And it brings us to this screen. You'll notice I've blocked out any identifying information, but you will see your school name, uh, your name as the instructor, and you can either uh, create a PDF report if you want to share it and save it and maybe print it, or you can just simply view the report online to do with what you will. So I'm just looking at the view online, but you're going to get the same information if you get a PDF report. So what the advantage of the class breakdown is, is it gives you an overview of your whole class and it breaks it down into different groups, right? And if you take a close look at the data, you may notice very quickly that it's a uh, almost a perfect bell curve right here. So we have our outliers on the edges, those who are below average and highly above average. And it will, what I've blocked out are the student names, but you can see their RIT score right next to them. And then we have slightly below average group here and slightly above average group here. And then of course in the middle, hugging around our mean is what we would call the average group. And so when you are grouping your students to scaffold or differentiate a lesson, uh, this can be a really helpful quick guide for making those groups and making accommodations and modifications. And now if I click on view reports and map growth reports, uh, brings me back to this screen and next we are going to be taking a closer look at a class report. So the class report gives you a more detailed analysis than the class breakdown does. So of course you'll have to choose the term rostered and you can look at specific subjects. So we wouldn't be using any of these because we don't actually administer these um, tests in our district. Uh, you could look at just math or just reading or by checking both you could get them uh, both in one report. And you'll notice there are other options for this report. You can break it down by gender or ethnicity to see if there are any significant patterns going on there. Uh, and you can also sort it either alphabetically by student name or by their score. And so for this uh, version, I've chosen to sort it by the score. And so just beneath where you can see um, is the option to create a PDF report, which is the only option for this one. And so that's what we'll go for. Right, so as you can see in the class report, there is a lot going on here. It gives you more of those descriptive statistics like the mean score, the median score, the standard deviation of scores, 
and what the norm is uh, for people taking this test all over the country. It also gives you a breakdown like the other one of that low, low average, average, high average, and high, which we saw in the class breakdown report. But this one, it just gives you the numbers and percentage rather than the student names on this page. When we go to the next page, and so now we're taking a look at the uh, results for the reading test. Uh, and it's you can see it's a more detailed breakdown. And on the next page is the same results for the math test. But we'll just focus on this one because it's relatively same for each of them. So it will show you all the student names over here, which are blacked out. And then it gives you their RIT score and with a range plus and minus of the standard error, which anytime you have a test that is scored based on norms, there's always going to be a margin of error. It's not a perfect system, and so it gives you the range of the RIT score. Now, if you're not too familiar with the RIT score and what exactly it means, which I think uh, most people are not, it's also very helpful on this page as they present you with a percentile that the student has ranked out of all students of that grade level that have taken this test, where do they fall uh, ranked by percentage? And that gives you, uh, I think, an, a way, an easier way to understand how your student is performing. And it does also give the test duration as students who are rushing through the test, that could be a factor in how they're performing. And then also over here on the right side, we've got the goal performance data. So it's broken down into four areas that are tested on reading, uh, foundational skills, language and writing, literature and informational text, and vocabulary use and functions. Those correspond to these four letters, and it tells you for each student relatively where they scored uh, from low, low average, average, high average to high. And now we're going to look at one more type of report. So I'm back on my view reports page and we're going to take a look at student goal setting worksheet. So this is your way of getting a sense of where your student should be on the next test and helping them reach that goal. Right, so you can generate this report for students individually. In fact, it will give you individual reports, um, but you can generate from multiple students at one time or not just by checking the boxes next to their name or unchecking them. And that's only half the screen. So this is what the bottom half looks like. And just like before, you only want to bother to check off the tests that they've actually taken. For us, it's math and reading. And then you'll want to create a PDF report. And that's automatically going to bring you to this next screen. And in this screen, um, this is you get here by clicking on reports queue if you want to come back to it. But the helpful thing about here is anytime you generated a report, if you didn't save it or print it or anything, you can easily go back to reports you've already made. So we're going to take a closer look at the one we've made right here. And so as you can see, what you will find up here where I have it blocked out is uh, the student's name and then it gives you information. So if you notice on the left here, again, we're looking at reading scores, and it shows you their score for each administration of the test. So right now we only have fall data because we've only tested in the fall so far this year. And so this is this particular student's RIT score right here. And right here above it is uh, what is set as the goal. And this is a yearly goal. So that, that's where the student um, would hope to be 
in the spring administration of the test. And of course, when you view this in later terms, you'll be able to see the growth from test to test right there. And you'll notice this little spot where it says my goal. Okay, this is something that you can show to the students uh, themselves and talk with them about what it means and involve them in the process of setting a goal for the next test. And then over here, again, we have it broken down into the four areas that are tested on that test. And it gives you their, the range of their score, including the standard error, plus and minus. And you'll notice that some of them are highlighted in yellow. That indicates a uh, area of concern for that student. Uh, the one highlighted in green is a strength for that student. And one that is not highlighted at all is just um, a regular, you know, it's just average. And it also provides a lexile range approximately for where that student is at. So this is all data that you can use uh, for targeting your students' needs for, an, for improvement and helping them grow, helping them develop on their strengths, and also perhaps using the lexile range to help them find uh, just right books. So thanks for watching. Uh, of course, there are many score reporting functions that we haven't covered here, but these are the main ones that you'll want to be using for now. Um, when we get later on in the year, I can be putting out a video that will look at progress reports, and so you can actually see a student's progress from one administration of the test to the next.